Boo. <laughs> what is up, everyone? Bow. What the heck? Yeah, keep playing. Keep the music going. <laughs> hello, chat. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm just gonna just go ahead and check that. All right, cool. It is the correct color. <laughs> How's everyone? Good, good Wednesday. Good Wednesday. Oh, I am. Hold on one second. Let me just turn it up. There. Damn, I like the the previous song. Anyway, I'll go ahead and play it again. Fuck. Get out of here. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Me as well. Alright, so... Less depresso, more espresso. I was gonna name it that originally, but then I was like... Omori's like 10. I don't really want him to be drinking espresso, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably not very healthy for a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, how's everyone? Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna do my, um, my welcomes as usual, as usual. Um, hello to Womkin and Nyx and Ducky and Ellie and Shemi. Woo! Wahoo! Um, hopefully Ellie has more sleep this time, huh? Huh? Um, Shami answered. Okay, let me let me start from the beginning. Lurk, have a lovely stream. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Next, I appreciate you. Hopefully, you have a lovely lurk, and hopefully, you um have lots of fun uh, listening in. Really? Um, music is quiet. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, it was it was it was gonna be less depresso, more espresso, little kid. But I was like, eh, I really don't want to be out here promoting espresso to 10 year olds they're already as energetic as they are they're gonna be bouncing off the walls you know uh redeem hydrate uh oh hold on i don't have any water <gasps> crop thank you for reminding me hi frito hi frito what would our queen wear casually at home when being comfy and doing house things like cooking for example um your your title kind of reads like a headline it's supposed to like a news headline Local B tries to undepress kid. <laughs> Alright, let me go get my I actually had um tea on the on the kettle. Sorry, I'm standing up because I don't want pants. My bad. Alright, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab my water. No pants? Yeah. Who's out here at home wearing pants? This one's terrible. Well, sometimes me. Not gonna lie, sometimes me. I do be that bitch sometimes. Not gonna lie. Um, okay, so I don't wear I don't want pants. Yeah, I don't want pants. I don't want being comfy. I have Hojo. Yeah, honestly, um Shami is the only person I know that uses hocho or yeah they're the only person that I know that uses it a big t-shirt um I'm actually wearing kind of like this robe thing I'm wearing my outside clothes I can show you what it looks like if you'd like it actually kind of looks like what I would wear my character would wear Hold on, one second. I stole that from a high school friend, TBH. Oh. 
here. Um, it's really hard to take a picture because I'm sitting. Anyway, whatever. Um, how do I? Okay, how's this? I'm getting it out. I'm getting it out. I'm getting it out. You done? You did this to me. You did this to me. Okay. Window capture. Oops. This. We're we're doing this now. We're doing this now. Okay. This is what Ducky has created. This is what Ducky has done. This is the Ducky sows sows chaos constantly where she is. Can you see this at all? That would suck if you can't see this, by the way. Hold on. Does it look like shit? What's going on? Does it just look like a black square? Hmm. You why? I'm just trying to show fucking um Here's how's this? I I will screen capture. Yeah. Screen capture. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. This is good. This is good. I see it in the uh, thing. Okay. Can you see this? I'm coming for the degradation kink. <laughs> Just out of spite. Oh god. Okay. Okay. This is what it looks like. It looks like conveniently it's in yellow. Like a gold. And it has like a collar right here. And then it dips down has like a little kind of like a clasp here which I which I use but it's still kind of open and then it goes up again and has another like a collar right and then it has sleeves obviously oops that's kind of too big for my shoulder has sleeves but only up to like quarter length because then it has kind of like a larger sleeve here like here and then it kind of cinches at the waist kind of like over here onto one side and it's halfway in same thing with the other sleeve and it has buttons it has buttons here and then it kind of like crosses over this way and then it has another section here there you go I'm gonna erase this part part there. Oh god, I'm erasing the entire thing. That's fine. You get the idea. Um, that looks like something. It does. It does. And, oh yeah, and it has like a back here, obviously, which is the rest of my shirt. No offense, but I would not eat June's cooking. Really? You don't think I'm good at cooking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at cooking. <laughs> I'm I'm actually pretty good at baking too. I think Shabby has more experience than I do with baking, but I'm pretty good at baking too. Yeah, I've made an entire Christmas dinner. It's not that I just only eat food that I then you couldn't say no offense I wouldn't eat June's cooking. You would be no offense I wouldn't eat anyone's cooking. <laughs> That's that, those are very different statements. <laughs> are very different statements. Oh, let me turn on Yuzu. I can't believe we've started we've started our stream with me drawing my robe. I can only bake. Damn. Well, I mean think about it this way. If you're just comfortable with an oven, that's just a tool, you know? So what if you bake a turkey in it? That's still baking. Still baking, right? 
Is that considered baking? Or is that considered cooking? Hmm. What do I know? Don't correct me, I miss I'm good at cooking. Why? I mean, that's what you're saying, right? That's what you're saying, right? Listen, they hated her because she told the truth. I'm only proficient in the ways of the croissant. Honestly, I know that those are hard to make. If you can make a croissant, then you can make pretty much like most baked goods, like cakes and cupcakes and stuff. Croissant. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was so dehydrated, I don't know why. That's hard to do from scratch, yeah. They're hard to do from scratch, I agree. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would probably- That is what I am wearing now. Here is another option, though, um, because... I was told that I... Well, rather, I requested Ducky. I said, Ducky, how come none of my community wants to uh, put me in weird positions, right? Where I am... They don't want to lude me, right? So, <laughs> weird positions. The fuck am I talking about? So this is what happens when I start talking and, and I, I say things that I don't mean them. You know, I have you considered this outfit? Huh? Have you considered this outfit? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? This one here? Looting is too far. I won't even say can holding. <laughs> I'm looking for a good outfit for meal prepping. What about just... Isn't that just an apron and nothing else? Hi, Salary, and hi, Epsilon. I'm doing D&D, D &D, just want to say hi. Well, hi, Salary, I appreciate you stepping by. How's D&D? &D? What are you guys doing? Does that uh, qualify as a naked apron situation? I mean, if you're naked and you're wearing just an apron, right, then, yeah. I mean, do you need a situation to wear a naked apron? <laughs> You can just be at home and wear a naked apron. As long as it's hot enough, honestly. IMO. Um, that is one too many O's for Epsilon's name. There you go. There you go. And I'm shouting out salary. Here's my thing. I get the naked apron, but what if you're cooking something and it splashes back at you? Then why do you think you have the apron? Look at how much c coverage you have. The entirety of your front is covered. You're you're not going to get splashed from your behind, and if you do, it's not the it's not a cooking splash. <laughs> <I'm telling> you. <laughs> Thank you, Gene. Of course, of course, but it doesn't cover everything. What do you mean? But the booba. Okay. All right. All right. You know, I didn't ask, I didn't create this scenario for the fucking, the people here to be bragging, okay? To be, <laughs> then don't make food that could splash, yeah, exactly. What, what is, what does crep do? Crep bakes. So they understand if they're going to naked apron, nothing is going to harm them, you know? I'm just concerned about burns. Yeah, okay. Hmm. That's what they say. That's what they really say, but in actuality, they mean, June, is this a problem for big boob girls and you don't understand? <laughs> I can only get messy, not hurt. True, yes, yes. Why are we coming back to talking about June's booba? No, we're talking about booba in general. Right. See, Shami's talking about her booba. Right. Second booba mentioned in a row. Ta yeah, what about the booba? I get a, I get a pretty big... Yeah. I, okay. <sighs> Guys, I, you know, I know I didn't I didn't think my entire community would clown on me here, but here I fucking am, man. I'm here just making myself vulnerable, and you guys are just <laughs> shitting on me. <laughs> no breast, bitch. 
No. I got it from Pumping Iron. <laughs> True. Men, men booba are kind of the best. I'm not gonna lie. Like men booba. Have you seen Doctor Ratio from HSR? Like, whew. He's got a booba window. I really didn't really have a cho choice, huh? I didn't have a choice when I saw that man. I was like, God damn, sir. <laughs> All upper body, all <laughs> no legs day. <laughs> At least ratio is free. <laughs> yeah, the booba are free for sure. Uh, and Bibiter Luna. <sighs> I know it's okay. I think what, what turns me off is the same reason why it kind of turns off Nezu. We're, we're both not into the fact that he's like super OP a little bit. Like, he's just kind of, he just breaks the game. And while he's very cool, I would probably would not use him. IMO. Um, I also don't, I don't know. I'm usually into dark, dark haired um, characters, like dark haired male uh, Ikemen. I've never really been into Don Hung. Not gonna lie. I feel like everybody else is though. Like Sam, when Sam saw him, she was, uh, or they were like, oh my God, uh, what's your name? <laughs> and then, and then the moment that I met Eri, Eri was like, Don Hung is my husband. So I'm like, okay, well you can have him, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll just take this very violent puppy named Blade. <laughs> He actually got debuffed. Did he? Hmm. I, I have not stopped using a Jepard. He was my first five star. Yeah, I, I actually finished it, um, Sir Val's, uh story on stream yesterday, actually. My first five star was Hot Cheeto Mommy Himiko. Um, Himiko was my first one for my um, my June account, my QB June account, uh, my Junie account. But then uh, my personal account when HSR first came out, uh, my first five star was Welt, actually. It was Welt. Hello, oh, you heard your name, Nezu? You heard your name? Is that it? My first five star was Clara. I want Clara so bad, but it's only because I want Clara's dad. Clara's dad is so hot. Actually, never mind. My Ikiman is Clara's dad. Sabrod. <laughs> I actually don't know which five star was my first. I got Chapard and Walt in the same ten. Really? Hmm. So you basically birth twins, Savrog. Yes, Savrog. He's a robot. Yeah. Robots can be hot. I love robots. In fact, uh, another robot that's hot as hell is uh, Ko from Valo. <laughs> Ko from Valo. Mm mm. Mm mm. Sa Savrog. I. I, you know, crap, crap, that's a great question. I don't play HSR enough to, to know. KO is kind of fine. KO is kind of fine. KO is fine. <laughs> and Clara's dad, that's gotta go. Honestly, yeah, that's me. That's me. Anybody want to, like, bring the 2000 songs back? It's it's going to be me with Savrog's dad. Or Savrog's dad, Clara's dad. Uh, I... I know who you know who's fine. Well, who, who's fine? Chaos, Chaos, fine. Yu Kong. Hmm. I haven't actually compared to Yu Kong. Like people, are, people, if they don't give me Himiko, they give me Yu Kong, which is interesting. Yu Kong is mom. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yu Kong is mom. Yu Kong is mother. <laughs> I'm a Ko player. Oh yeah. You're a KO player. <laughs> I'm a KO player too, so it's okay. Uh, I'm a KO player, and if I don't play KO, um, honestly, KO is more of my secondary because he's his um, play style is not really my was not really my type. Um, I played a lot of Cipher if I didn't play KO. Twirls hair. You're a KO player? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm getting to. I'm glad that Shemi can fucking uh, read me. Yeah, but she's still hot. Yeah. She's still hot. Yeah, I agree. 
June, do you ship anyone in HSR asking for a friend? Like, ship between, like, two characters? Two characters in, in, in the game? I don't think I've been compared to HSR characters much, more so Genshin ones. Yeah, we, we definitely compared you to, um, Steel and Trash, Steel and March. Um, ooh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Steel and March. Uh, to be honest, I don't really see... I'm not okay. People are gonna fucking crucify me, okay? Uh, I'm not really a big fan of March. Like, she's okay, but she's a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. And she like covers up her incompetency by being like, ah, oops, I'm I'm a clumsy girl. Getting the cross, fine. I'll die on the cross, that's fine. March is cute, but kind of annoying, yeah. I'd see Dunhung and March more, but I realize they have more of a sibling. Yeah, they have more of a sibling relationship. I can see Dunhung just being not. He he wants somebody more capable. Kafka and Himiko, Dunhung and Kalis. Kalis, I can see. Kalis and Dunhung, I can see. Um. Dunhung gives Ace. Um. In romantic, yeah, he kind of does. No, 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 no. She was saying at first, she's saying at first I can see March and Don Hung, but then she realizes that it's more of a sibling relationship. She's not saying that it wait, pom pom and June's foot. I didn't even read that. What the hell? <laughs> Can someone make art of this? Hello, Ducky, are you alive? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> After you're done with the cum Tupperware, can you draw me um um stomping on pom pom, please? Thank you. Thank you. Do not the pom pom. We <laughs> pom That does not need to be art. What do you mean? It can be art. Listen, art is, you know, like, it is very subjective. Okay, there's no, no such thing as objective art. You know, what is beautiful to others is maybe ugly to others and back and forth and vice versa. Like, that is the beauty of art, is it not? Q, QB, chill. Pom Pom is not deserving beatings. Why would you spit such hatred? Listen, Pom Pom is a useless piece of shit. He needs to actually know that. Okay? And by doing so, he'll just have to take the soul of my heel a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. You need to be quiet right now before you get crucified. I'm fine with being crucified. <laughs> it wouldn't be- it would not be such a- it would not be the first time. It would not be the first time. I'm gonna have to cancel you, Jan. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Listen, can you conduct the space train? Does Pom Pom, have you actually seen him conduct the space train? Legitimately, have you seen him behind the wheel? Have you seen him actually conduct it? Can, can you answer that me, me that? I don't think so. I don't think so. He's a passenger princess. <laughs> That's so good. He's a princess, but the problem is, is that at least you know you're a passenger princess. Pom Pom wants to pretend like they're, he's not a passenger princess. He's like, oh, I'm doing all the work. Bitch, you know you're not. <laughs> you know you're not. You're... Haven't seen you do it either. Yeah, but I at least know my my place. I know that I'm a passenger. I'm not out here saying I pilot this plane when I'm not even in the pilot seat and I don't even even have the keys to the to the to the front where the pilot the cockpit. Jesus, I don't fucking remember the word. Okay, can we, can we all agree that Himiko is amazing? Mm. See, this is what no. <laughs> Of course, Himiko. 
trains don't have keys or cockpits. What do you mean? You literally go over to uh, Don Hung and and March's uh, doors at first, and they're locked. In the beginning of the game, you try to go to them, and they're locked. You can't go to them in, unless you talk to the NPCs. Clearly, these, this train has locks. And has to have a key as a result, right? No, they're not. What do you mean? No, they're not. Pom Pom is a conductor, not a pilot. Trains have set paths they go on. Yes, but I have not seen Pom Pom go ahead in the front of the train in the conductor's little booth and press on that little lever to go forward. I have not. I've literally just saw him say, hey everyone, take your seats. We're here. <laughs> Can he even reach? What the fuck? How would you see it? I've not seen him go in any door that where he's like I will be right back I'm going to go and drive this train he hasn't even said that he literally just tells you hey please everyone sit down how is that any different from like a flight attendant it is a train attendant he's a train attendant he's not even the conductor he's just pretending he's pretending Pom Pom is always out of frame. Oh, it's so very convenient, huh? So very convenient. He's out of frame every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting mad. <laughs> oh, I'm getting angry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Listen, no, they don't have cockpits, but the idea is the same. I use a plane as an example because both are methods of transportation where you have a singular driver where a plane has a pilot and a symmetrically, okay, you have symmetrically to a pilot, you have a conductor. But if the conductor, the conductor is supposed to drive the train as the pilot is supposed to pilot the plane. But if Pom Pom, who is supposed to be the conductor, is not being seen as actually conducting the train. He is not being seen as going into a room in order to actually drive the train. Then what is he doing? Is he truly, is he truly a conductor? Or is he, or is he faking it? I'm going to curse your next hundred pulls completely useless. Oh, do that because honestly, when people curse me, it makes my luck get better. So, uh, keep it up. <laughs> I thought they were conductors to be honest. actually train uh, attendants are called uh, chaffies. Yeah, I just thought they were called like just train assistants. Interesting. Jin Pom Pom owns the entire train. He can kick me off, bitch. Then I wish he would try. Conductors work like work the mechanics we need phoenix right on this june is cooking nothing right now yeah i'm not cooking because i'm spitting facts that's what that's why i don't need to be in the kitchen for this i just need to spit facts that's all i need to do <laughs> actually himiko does true a conductor and a mechanic a train mechanic are two different jobs they two do two different things because if uh, it's like saying, okay, it's like saying a person who, um, okay, let's get to him more. <laughs> you cook a meal and <laughs> Mama was like, it's already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's like, okay, Pom Pom is a type of person, right? Who is the front of the house in a restaurant. He's literally giving the, giving the food to the, um, customers and he is the waiter, correct? A waiter is not the same as a cook, right? So let's say, for example, you as the cook are in the kitchen and you are cooking. You make the meal and it's delicious. It is some of the best, best work you've done thus far, right? And then here comes Pom Pom saying, oh, is the food ready? And you say, yes, Pom Pom. And he goes, doo, 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 thanks. And he grabs the plate and goes over to the goes over to the customer hi i made this for you and puts it in front of the customer the customer based upon his language is gonna think okay pom pom this little tiny rabbit thing 
has decided to make this pl a plate, this delicious dinner for me. I'm going to eat it. They eat it. And they're like, thank you, Pom Pom. You'd be on the side being like, what the fuck? Pom Pom literally just took, literally just took all of my, all the credit for everything that I did here. You're spitting lies and bullshit. Oh, I'm enraged. <laughs> Hey, Jean, I'm going to go because I don't like arguments. Oh, we're not arguing. We're literally just... Well, I mean, we're mainly just joking around. Unless somebody is actually taking this seriously. Which, I, I mean, I mean, honestly, if, you, if you're taking whether or not Pom Pom is a real conductor seriously... Come on. You're making up scenarios to justify your bullshit. <laughs> yes, and... But that is the way that Pom Pom always comes around. He always comes around. He's like, oh, I did all this stuff. I did all this stuff. I'm working so hard. But you never see him do anything, you know? I think Nezu is... No, Nezu is, Nezu is messing around right now. He's not, <laughs> he's not being for real. <laughs> Nezu is literally... I can literally hear him say this. Nezu... It's really hard for Nezu to get mad. <laughs> I feel like... Pom Pom can solo my entire career. True. Pom Pom probably can. Not gonna lie. Ooh, I'm in. I yeah, I could definitely hear that. I can. I can definitely hear. Ooh, I'm enraged. I can <laughs> like literally Nezu and I. We, we, uh, Nezu, I, and a bunch of us. We were literally in chat maybe like an hour ago, just shooting the shit. We we're just we we're just so unhinged together. Um. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. You're fine. The, the, it's really hard when it comes to text to tell whether somebody is serious or not serious. So don't worry about it. Just make sure, like, like we're all lighthearted here. We're all friends. We are all friends here. And if people aren't friends, like, if they have an issue with me, they will DM me. Remember, we're all very much adults. We can we can communicate with each other. And on top of that, we know our priorities. Nezu is not going to be okay. Maybe maybe Nezu. Oh fuck! Don't look. Shit. No. Oh no. Don't look. Don't look at my YouTube. Uh oh. Not Dova Syndrome. Nobody's used Dova Syndrome before. <laughs> um, I hope an actual argument wouldn't be carried on in shame regardless. Yeah, true. June wants to have less clothes in order for us to be forced to be like <laughs> No. <laughs> June wants to have less clothes to be yelled at, to be put to put more clothes on. <laughs> what was that? It, it was just Dova syndrome. It was YouTube. It was literally my video where I'm playing music. It's nothing. It's nothing important. It's literally, literally Dova syndrome. Um, it's getting cold. Put on more clothes, June. Don't you know it's in the middle of, the, of winter? Why would you? Why would you be so naked? What's going on with you? I'd be like, please. <laughs> You're going out in that? <laughs> Where's the rest of the outfit? <laughs> Thank you for the ten stream streak. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We are supposed to play some Amori. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me let me grab game. Who's talking to me? Okay. I cannot believe June is trying to be inappropriate. Mm, if you think I'm inappropriate by removing my fur, oh no, you have no idea what's going on underneath my fur. In actuality, this uh, this entire outfit is uh, sleeve and shoulderless. Crazy. Sorry, I'm asking my former roommate um, for their Grubhub <laughs> info because I'm kind of hungry and I don't know why. Um, okay, let me... Let me grab Omore. I'm gonna be sick. Ugh. Why? Why are you being sick? 
Why are you being sick? This is an 18 plus stream. It sure is an 18 plus stream now. Hmm. It sure do be an 18 plus stream. Stream announcement. Oh my god. Who would do such a thing? Adult themes. Gross. Tr true. Wait, how come this isn't... Hello? Hold on. I'm gonna start it over again. Mm-hmm. There it goes. I was wondering. Shammy, you're... You're fucked up. You're fucked up. Mm. Should I do my PNG? I'm okay with my VTube Studio. Not VTube Studio, my model. Oh my gosh. Okay, there. All right, let's play some Amore. Play some Amore. Do you remember what happened last time? The G's. I don't remember. Space boyfriend. True, a space boyfriend. Let me. I don't have music on for it. Sound on for it. Okay. Cool. I was really worried the same issue would come up from last time. That would be really sad. Six days? Wow. Nice, nice. That's right, I have... Um, okay, I'm... What am I looking for? Oh! Donate? I... I really don't... I Well, I can give him like a dollar or two. What the fuck? The tree is shaking. I saw it earlier, but... I just wanted to say something this time. Okay, I'll give him, I'll give him a dollar, cause we're poor, you know. We're poor. We only have thirty-one bucks. Here you go. Yes. Here you go. Oh, okay. Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? That's right, okay, okay. So Aubrey took the photo album from Basil, right? Oh, well, we found out what was shaking in it. This is this a pompadour kid? <laughs> Who, what, and where now? Where do you, what, what do you do that for? Give him ten dollars? Maybe. If, if I don't have enough stuff for equipment. If I have all my equipment, I'll give him ten bucks. Ah, if it isn't Kellen, that weird knife guy. Or the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. <laughs> I don't know why, but immediately I thought of, like, emo era, like, Chris Angel. <laughs> I'm E.P. Ellie. Get to bed, get to bed. I know that I might be uh, streaming a little too late for some people, so do not be afraid to sleep. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? 
You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. Mind freak? I know, yeah. That's this guy. A mind freak. <laughs> it's not late. I'm just tired because of work and school. Well, yeah, you've done a lot today. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on. Let's sick him, Charlie. Oh. Okay. Um. Can we run? Can we just... Okay, we can't. Oh, look. Isn't this the sweater that... Oh, somebody was wearing this sweater. Was it Amori? I don't think it was Amori. Somebody was wearing that purplish sweater, though. That... Oh, you know who they are? They're the, uh, they're the little, the, I don't remember her name. The little kid and then the, um, the big green guy. Do you remember? I think this is their sort of, uh, parallel. I'll punch the kid. <laughs> I'll punch the kid. That's fucked. That is fucked up. Uh, I, pro I don't know if I should attack with a knife. Remember last time I got an attack with a knife? Okay. Ow. Charlie is standing there. Okay. I think we'll just attack from here. We do have some mana, but I think we'll be okay. Ow. Charlie did one damage. Aw. Um, okay. Let's take a- let's eat a snack. Oh, I can't. JK. Stiff. You- you'll pay for this. Okay. Thankfully that ended soon. Cause... How could this be? My training was all for nothing. I want to get to a save point. Um, well, we were at a save point, but I think there is a full heal there too. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. Oh. Uh, okay, Angel. It's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <laughs> a promise is a promise, I suppose. I honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere. In faraway town. Probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around or else. I told you what I'd know. I, I told you I'd tell you what I know. Truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everybody, everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Uh, wh what? You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So it is him. We're gonna f find Mick. I mean the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can just tell everyone about that time you- Gah! Fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the Faraway, pl Faraway Plaza. Faraway Plaza. Oh my gosh, I keep saying fair. Because Faraway- I'm used to reading them as two separate words. I'm like, it has to be Faraway, right? That's the name? He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh. Disgusting. Come on, Juni. Let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. All right, we're gonna off. Off we go, and we're gonna eat from this. Oh, it's empty. Jk. Um. Can we have some fruit? Hi. Right. Can I have some fruit? Juice. Okay. 
May I have some? Thank you. Would you like to buy? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, no. Pockets? Snacks? That's it? Wait, it didn't even do anything? Oh my god. Gotta help Siren something? No problem. Three, less than 300 until praise? I thought you said you were gonna get degen. What happened? Do I have to go back home? Wait. Earth? Two bucks. We have two bucks from our trash. Very nice. We're looking for like some type of food though, because Cal is getting really low. I'm concerned about how low he's getting. A date. Gross. Oh no no no. It that was a response to um It was a response to um something that happened in the game because we found out the the guy that's uh, that we have to find is going on a date right now so we have to go and we have to go and find him is it this way no it says road closed it's the other way that's right <sighs> and then I told him it's not Maverick, it's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. <laughs> wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. There's enough of me to go around. Oh my god, it's so fucking loud. Shut the fuck up, this music. All right, here, uh, I'll, I'll protect your ears. Here you go. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah! If it isn't Cal, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? S Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? Again, with that godforsaken name. H how dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. Oh god, he said the he said the magic words. The two magic words. Watch this. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikkel. Don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. Uh, are we really gonna do this? Okay then, come on Junie, let's take him down. The music kills me. Oh Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Um, can we just calm down? Removes emotions and heal some heart. Ooh, actually yes, let's do that. What will Kel do? What? Oh, oops. Oh. Oh, it's only for himself. I see. Yeah, that's why it, only, it goes straight to him. I see, I see. What's toy? First aid kit. Oh, 150. Okay, we, we shouldn't get use this until later, actually. Okay. What's this? <sighs> Raises Junie's attack. Okay. Ow! Okay, I should probably use it next turn, actually. Uh, snack? Toy. For myself. Woo! Full health. Oh, 
He actually does quite a bit of damage. The music kills my ears? Why? Hmm, not bad. But this fight's just getting started. Oh yeah? Uh, let's see. Calm down. Okay. Let's try this. Let's have Cal guard. Just because, yeah, he's he's gonna be He's, I think he's specifically um, targeting Cal. So I'm going to guard this entire time. You can lower the volume. I have it kind of... I can have it a little bit lower for the music. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's about half at this point. Let's guard. Yeah, we're... we're he's specifically going for Cal because he sees him as... The arch nemesis. Heh, <laughs> as expected my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. It's at the lowest, but my ears are just really sensitive. Okay, I'm gonna try to get past this quickly. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Cal. Um, and we'll block with Cal. Oh. Ah, is that all you've got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. Uh, let's cover it again. Yeah, otherwise Kel would have been in a lot of trouble if I wasn't guarding with him right now. He did get give um, a Junia buff, so hopefully this helps. But you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You've got you're nothing but a loser. Uh, how much HP is he looking at? Oh man. Will I make it? Actually, I'm not sure. 13. Cal feels angry. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, because he's going to go first, right? And I'm already angry, so I'm going to take more damage. I'm afraid of... Yeah, I'm afraid of going down soon. 14. It's only a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Uh, we can probably take two more uh, hits. Okay. Twelve? Yeah. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Ah, <sighs> he's almost done. Am I gonna go down here? I might. Um, I might have to go and get grab some equipment then. Yeah, Cal's gonna go down here. Uh, I'm probably... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good for finishing the battle, at the very least. No, it's possible, improbable, completely inconceivable. He's got one, one more. Ginny feels angry. That's fine. This will increase his damage. And he goes first, I believe. Ooh, ow. Huff, huff, wheeze. Ugh, no, I won't let it end like this. Well, it's over. There, it's all done. No can't be over for me. People of Earth. Oh my god, he's a chuny. Lend me your strength. Yeah. Ew, what's with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. He was paying them? 
Oh my god. L ladies, please come back. I have more money. Hmm. What? It was a wig? It's a wig? <sighs> Mikhail. There's no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask for anything again and ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you, on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. She and her, she and Vance are her major sugar heads, so I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near Candy. Let's see coins. Okay, yeah. I remember we we um. We went to... Uh, we threw a coin in there already, I think. Okay, we need to go to other mart. Okay, so oranges for this guy. Wig snatched. Yeah, I know. Wig snatched. Food is the only vehicle for sauce. Okay, alright. Well, do you guys have, like, food? Do you guys have food that I can have? Is this medicine? Fuck yeah, please. Uh... E yes, I actually need these. Uh, let's grab two. Actually. And we'll grab, uh, three bandages. Okay. And then we'll check out what we need here. Because we're going to give... There we go. And we'll use it. That's fine. We'll grab one more bandage. This is giving Joja Mart. <laughs> yeah. I wish bandages were only a dollar where I was. That'd be crazy. What is this? Oh, candy? I think it's in this direction. Oh, those are probably the kids, huh? What's Jojo Mart? It's from Stardew Valley. I mean, Kim and Vance are probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd, Kel. Come on, Vance. We gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Ugh, I've had enough of this for, for today. Kim, let's just make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. She said you weren't a snitch. I don't need to be, but if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you you'd never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. What? Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. <laughs> We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Does she have a statue of herself? <gasps> Do you see that? That's like right next to the counter. It's literally a statue of herself. <laughs> um, Bro, does this Vance guy have facial hair? He does and I think he's a kid. So it's kind of weird. Smiley, 
Someone told me it's a psychological horror game because you're trapped in the valley and you can't leave. <laughs> what in copy pasta is that? Nope, just a farming game. Nah, it's really not. It's relaxing and fun. Give it a try. Yeah, it's it's not. It looks like one of those cardboard cutouts. You know, I was thinking of like those full, full big statues of Miku that you see around Japan. That's what I was getting from it. Oh. Alright, sorry, I had to drink some water. I bought a used copy of Stardew Valley to yard sale, not this. Let's get out of this dump. Wow, we went around the lollipops. Huh, serves you right. Now we don't know where fucking Aubrey is. Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? Ugh, come on, Junie. Let's follow them. Um, um, I hope your our candy makes you smile. I told you, curtsy. It's smiley. Oh, it's... Okay. Smiley. Hey, yes, ma'am. Oh, jeez. A cardboard. You were right. It is cardboard. It was cardboard all along. Hey, Nine. How are you? Hello. You've heard of Ben Drowned? Now get ready for Shane Drowned. Finally, somebody's done it. Done it. Seems a bit much. Hi, hi. It's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today? Smiley, smiley. Ooh. Um, wait, hold on. This doesn't even give me anything. Oh, man. Dude. This lady psycho. Oh, by the way, Jin, the pings that work for stream announcements. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out later. Um, for some reason, when it pings, it it is putting in the roll, but the roll thing isn't showing up properly. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Smiley, smiley is such a garbo catchphrase. I know they could have done better. That like they could have gone with like, um, I don't know. I don't know, like, come back again, sweet tooth, or like, I don't know, like something cute, you know? But smiley smiley is not fucking cute. Yeah, it just puts a roll but doesn't actually prompt it to ping. Yeah, I noticed that, I don't know why. I think I have an idea. Are you gonna use candy as bait? Sorry for the hold up, let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Oh, the roll isn't pingable. I have pinged it myself. Like, I've tried to do it on my own. And it's worked. Maybe... I'll, I'll look it over again. That's how you get ants. <laughs> Sorry, Vance. No candy today. Though, you are server owner, so you have infinite perms. Yeah, I do. But, like... Anybody should be able to. I don't know. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. Uh, let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Bro, Vance is actually like a bearded man. <laughs> I love ants and just bugs in general. Some bugs are kind of cool. Other bugs freak me out. Just a little. Even for me. Wait, Kim, I have something for you. You again, Cal? What the hell do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is, and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. R really? The whole bag? I mean, wait, you can't buy, off buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't seen candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. Let's vote for you, sis. Kim? Vance? I'm waiting. Heh. <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh man, really? I was sure that that would work. 
This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Please, Kim. You're the only lead I've got. Please, take the big bag of candy. We... We even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? Loot bugs. Loot bugs. I really want to play more Lethal Company. You should. Oh, hey, this is the thing. Congrats on the three stream streak. I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us ever again. I'm just going to lower the um, sound a little bit, actually. There we go. I can't solo play it, play it, or I mean I could, but it's not fun. Yeah, I know. It's so fun playing Lethal Company by yourself. IMO. Wait a sec. There's no need to fight. You just tell me where she is. I'll give you this whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. All right. What is it with you guys and fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Junie. You know the drill. All right. <clears throat> Who is the weak one here? Who's the short stick here? I'll show you that size isn't everything. It's not about. To, I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Okay. So let's focus on Kim. Um, guard. It's fine. That's health. That's just a whole ass dude. <laughs> True. It is a whole ass dude. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. I think it's a. I don't think it's smoke. So I think it's a lollipop. Like a lollipop stick. Yeah. Either candy, stick, or lollipop. Yeah. Your face annoys me. Oh. Well, that that's sand. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kel's always getting the short end of everything. Speaking of short end. Oh, no. You're still nerds. Well. I'll go back in for maybe a bandage and another first aid kit. Maybe. Yeah, he'll probably need... I'll give him one bandage and I think he'll be okay. He has so much more health than Amori does. But nobody, like, focuses on Amori at all. Or Junie, I should say. Okay, JK, I might have to use an entire um, health kit on him. Depending on how much um, HP he has left. All I want is some taffy. That's okay. You just tell us where Aubrey is. Oh my god. Grumble, 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 grumble. Ugh, I can't believe we lost. You never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot. Let's get out of here. Wait. Where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Yeah, that's right. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at... church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told you, don't tell her it wasn't... Tell her it wasn't me. Say it was... Mikhail or something. Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know how mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later, nerds. Oh my god. Aw, oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least we think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Um, let's go back in because I do want uh, a few healing items. 
In fact, let's have... Yep. So we're gonna grab another health kit, maybe two, and a bandage. Maybe this should be enough. I actually think this is enough. Bum, bum, bum. It took me until now to real. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. It's fucking boring right here. I was like, where is it? Thank you. Okay, uh, let me see. What's this place? Fix it. Buy stuff and fix it yourself. Flowers for important people. Hmm. I don't think we know any important people right now to like to give this to. Ooh, can we work more? Oh, no. I don't think we can. Eight eighths of a whole pizza. Mm. Grass in a bowl. None of these say they, they recover us at all. Mm. We don't have any, I don't believe. This was a like thing else for it. We're gonna have to figure out where the church is, right? But before that, let's go ahead and save up here. We've been doing quite a bit, so I want to make sure we don't lose that progress. Um, save. I should have saved in the previous one, but it's okay. Have we talked to this person before? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're the first person we, we met at the park here. Oh. oh wait, you know what? I think... Remember I was like, oh, I think the, um... I think heroes, um, hello? What the f Oh, right. The little things, they pop up sometimes. Um, I think heroes house is, um, is the, the, the religious one. It might be Aubrey's house. It might actually be Aubrey's house because if her parents are like super religious, then it would kind of make sense for that to be her house. Mm. Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard-earned money when I looked down, and lo and behold, my brand new garden shears are missing. Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole op open in my plastic bag. And how silly I felt just then. Do you think you can help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. Oh, I found them. That was pretty easy. Cool. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Feel free to come by my house anytime. You'll always be welcome. Why do I feel so weird about that? Is there anything actually here? Like, worthwhile? Can I, like, rest or something? Work desk. K 
Kim and Vance are written for last week. Oh, this is Vance and Kim's house. Sip, snip, sip, sip. Ah, hi there, you two. I didn't expect you so soon. Look here. Caring for these bonsai is a hobby of mine. It helps me relieve stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. They better not be late again, or else. Snip, snip, snip. Jesus. So they're not here yet, I'm guessing. Or need houseplants. Okay. This is a very nice house, actually. Oh, squeaky toy. Seven out of ten. Oh, is this a picture of Aubrey and... Yeah, it's Aubrey and Kim. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, cute. Okay. Oh, there's like metals over there. I wonder if she does things for like... For like bonsai um, trophies and stuff. 9.9k. Okay. I see, I see. Get ready. What am I getting ready for? For praise? Printing should be done regularly to maintain the shape of your bonsai. Yep, yep, yep. Can we come over to Vance and Kim's mom's place for dinner? That'd be fun. Pretty funny. Why do I have to get ready for praise? Oh, this is like a like a room for yoga. Yeah. Surrounded by bonsai, too. Wow, this lady is living it up. I know it's for visibility, but I love the size of the photo in comparison to the TV next to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Avocados, egg, blueberries, and grapefruit. How are you going to make dinner that way? There's nothing in there. Girl. There's not enough to make food here. What do you mean? Okay. I think we're done here. We were just exploring the house. Seeing if there was any, any secrets, essentially. Blueberry omelet? Blueberry omelet? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just not a fan of omelets. Because I, I find omelets as, like, savory? Mainly. The only time I can see omelet, a blueberry, and like something egg based would be like a crepe. A fruity omelet is unusual. Yeah, it, it is a little unusual IMO. But like if it were if you were to tell me crepe, that'd be a little bit different. Because there is egg and crepe, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry to impose, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my da daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Would it be so kind to pick it up for me? Sure. Thank you, children. Just talk to the, to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. Okay. Prescription and ID card. Got it. So we had all these, like, um, like little quests on the side this entire time. I had no idea. True, but it's still an option. Yeah, it's still an option. Okay, you're gonna tell me you're afraid to eat anything that I would make, but you come up with an oh, you come up with recipes like a blueberry omelet. No way. No shot. This guy is still there, huh? I was joking. <laughs> what, about not eating or about blueberry omelet? 
Which I mean, like, yeah, but... Don't make fun of my gay eggs. What? They, they're they gay because they're blueberry? Man. I like blueberry. KB likes blueberry. I think KB likes blueberry more than I do. We all love eggs here. We do. Oh, so you're going to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. Okay. No, they're gay because you're they're fruity. I don't wait. I can see tomatoes and omelet. Like, imagine if somebody was like anti LGBTQ, and they were anti. They were homo. Uh, they were homophobic for a lot of them, except like. An odd one. Like they were just like they loved aces, but none of them, <laughs> the others. <laughs> That'd be so fucking weird. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> tomatoes are good in omelets. Yeah, tomatoes are good, but that they're like the only fruit I'd imagine that I could be able to eat in an omelet. The others are kind of weird, right? I'd be like, uh, that's kind of weird. Blueberry pancakes with some maple syrup. Mm, yeah, blueberry pancakes with maple syrup sounds yummy. Yummy, yummy. They'd be like, only aces. It's like, what the f- Spinach is good in omelet soup. Yeah, that's why I'm like talking about, um, like savory stuff only. Wait, does that mean they're free? Wait, hold on. Aw, oh, god damn it. I can only hope, okay. I only hoped. Man, I bought like the orange shoes and stuff for like literally no reason. I didn't know because before, remember in the other world, orange shoes and stuff, they like actually do some some things, but in this world it does not. That sucks. Ooh. I was just reminded. I feel like What's what's your go-to like easy breakfast to make for yourself? If you're so like tired, but then you really want to eat, what type of breakfast would it be? I could go for a Swiss cheese, mushroom, spinach, and tomato omelet. That sounds so amazing. Actually, sounds so good. Yellow bun granny. Mm-hmm. We helped out. Is that it? They just like every morning I have one one granola bar. I wonder where she is. She's pretty quiet, but made a lot of new friends recently. Hope she doesn't forget about me. Oh, is it Basil? That's the only person I can think of. Cause uh, unless we didn't meet this person yet. Oh my god, who lives here? What the fuck? If you're bloistering so much, well, I'm, I'm so much more pandemic than you are. It's only due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led to my most elephantine uh, discovery of all. Everyone is a hundred, maybe a thousand years too early in time to comprehend my genius. Pity me no more with your occupancy. <laughs> you can't perceive anything I interject into your cerebrum anyway. Guys, he has anime and figures, and his entire room is trashed. Does this look familiar, guys? Does it look familiar? Does this look familiar? Look around, you guys, huh? Look around. <laughs> Not your play. Probably toast. Okay. I almost gifted 50 subs. Uh, I think I can just revoke that. I think I can actually just like reject and say I would not want to do. I don't want your money. I feel like I do not want the 50 subs. Thank you. I think I can. I think. It, the streamer would have to. If they did on like as an accident or something. 
Uh, I have coffee and toast or a banana. Okay, okay. Probably toast. Okay. Honestly, I only have a granola bar, so my daily multivitamin and ibuprofen doesn't make me sip to my stomach. Oh, no. Now, my room um, stays fairly clean. <laughs> um, uh, hi, Juno. Hope you're having a good stream. Thank you, Kitsu. How are you? Good evening. Is it a little... Is it a bit early for you? Are you in the next day right now? I don't even remember. You got trash. Hey fellas, how's it hanging? I gotta say, there's nothing like enjoying a long weekend with my favorite couch, my favorite TV show on TV. Oh, TV show. Favorite show on TV. Um, I can't find my remote. All American guy. Okay, no worries. We can find his remote. Also, we can probably go to that one guy and clean out his entire place and then turn it in for money. Right? Hopefully. It's 3 a.m. I'm good. How about, oh my god, it's 3 a.m.? Oh, what are you up to? What are you, what are you doing right now? Girl. I don't really eat in my room, so not much um, trash builds up. Laundry is my vice, though. Really? I feel like... If I had a vice... Mm, maybe. Laundry is, like, okay. For me. I don't work burning, so my schedule is always kind of weird. Okay, that's good. Fuck laundry. Hydrate. Thank you. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Um, I hate doing... I hate doing dishes manually, which I have to do in my apartment, but I don't have to do in KB's. I abuse the fuck out of the um, washer at KB's, actually. Um, I have piles of clean laundry. That is something. If I do the, I, I'm fine with doing the laundry, but then like finishing it, I'm just, I don't know what's going on there. Cleaning the bathroom. Laundry is probably my favorite chore if I had to pick. Um, or uh, cleaning the bathroom because it's satisfying. Really? Cleaning the bathroom? I don't really like cleaning the bathroom either. Um... I mean, I'll do it, obviously, but it's just not my favorite. To be honest, we don't have enough room in the bedroom for anything but a bed. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Putting that shit away is so not worth it. Honestly, um, if you've considered it, like, if you can... If you have room, you could just get, like, a rack or some type of in inset closet a little bit to kind of... Just hang your clothes instead, you know? Ah, uh, yes, I will hang up this shirt and then immediately unhang it tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, God. I remember when I could still pat you on the head. Oh, you're such a mischievous child. Oh, your, your food's ready. Oh, it looks perfect, honestly. It doesn't look burnt. Phew, that was a clo close call. Unfortunately, it's a little burnt. Okay. At the fair, I would probably rate an 8 out of 10, but I promise it's still quite delicious. Don't just take my word for it. You must try it yourself. You got pie. Nice. So hopefully it does something. If not, then that sucks. But We're looking around for that remote, right? So let's start from left to right. Just like a, there's just a conch. There's a conch in the... Uh, um, oh god, fucking, no! Well, that was unexpected. That, that was unexpected. Grain juice in a can, okay. I do want to go back to that guy's place and, um... Um, grab the trash from his, uh, his place. It would be very helpful in terms of money. Just saying. Where is this place? Or where is this um, remote, I should say. Oh, I didn't even know that you were a person. What the fuck? Hey, neighbor, how's it going? Hey, cow. Oh, and who who's here with you? 
Oh wait, I recognize you. It's Junie, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. Um, Womp's roommate is in chat. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we you have a roommate, Womp? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have a wife and a roommate. Really? Cool, lucky you. Yeah. Which one do I get to be? Wife, clearly. <laughs> My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came, about, came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Junie. Chris is my next door neighbor and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid or a shark or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. <laughs> Aren't you trying to trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? Oh, they're just flirting back and forth. Jesus. I'm sure you'll be a shoe in. <laughs> Damn, they got ri Kel's got some riz. I don't know. I don't write this shit down. <laughs> That's fucked up. It was given. It was written down by the government, though. That'll help you. Well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. I'm not that hardworking. It feels fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love, swim I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of the seaweed. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally obs uh, totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? <laughs> I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there, and I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But for the time being, I guess I'll just be collecting seashells and stuff. Ah, I see. You know, that sort of reminded me, reminded me of this, but Judy is actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Judy is moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories they make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I was just, I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure to make I'll make sure to, I'll make sure it's worth it. Do these count? Oh, she already has them in her room. Okay, that's fair. Bring her her own shell would <laughs> be kind of weird, huh? Alright, I'm still looking for this guy's remote, right? Okay, get out of the way. Can you say I'm watching TV? Oh, jeez. Chill, my dude. Listen, your game is not that important. What? <laughs> You're sweet. That's cute. <laughs> If you see it, could you bring it to me? What's this? Wait, house plants. Huh. Is it here? Is this it? Marble coasters. Okay. There's nothing here either. Salt and pepper shakers. I mean, the only thing I could think is they're outside. Brussels sprouts, potato salad, and lots of orange joe. Orange joe. Um, let's see. They can't be like here, right? Maybe they're outside. I can only think of it being outside. But I'm unsure why it would be. Okay, JK. It's right here. 
Hey, there's my TV remote. Literally need two more channel points. You gave the TV ro remote to All American Guy. Thanks, kiddos. Here, take some orange gel on me. I'm getting all this food and they don't really do anything though. Hmm. We'll go ahead and save. We'll save here. Yeah. There we go. Oop, there it is. Let me go ahead and make it down below. I finally did it, yes. Yeah. Let me go ahead and go into the next neighborhood and then we'll go ahead and read it, okay? Or not read it, but we'll check it out. Hold on. Okay. So Ellie, Ellie, since you have, you have, um, redeemed praise kink, here is your praise. Ellie, you did a wonderful job today. You did a wonderful job yesterday. You're working so hard and you're doing a great job. You, um, need to give yourself more credit. You know, you're, you're, you're growing to be a wonderful person and being resilient and hardworking and fun and charming like you're you're wonderful you're doing great so um yeah keep it up keep it up keep up the good work we're always supporting you i'm always supporting you and we believe in it we believe in your growth and your your hard work so good job good job good job okay Praise over. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over at Basil's. Are they still freaking out? Hmm. Yeah, we've still got to figure out the whole thing with the photo album. Yep. No response. Okay. Last one. Hmm. Oh, somebody here is painting. Oh, hey stranger, you're just in time to help critique my latest work in progress. Clipped and published. Oh. <laughs> bark, bark, bark. Oh, jeez. Locus, shut your gap. Oh. Dirty dishes. Refrigerator. I'm so glad y'all are my friends. Oh. Milk, tea, and fried fish cake. Hell yeah. This girl knows how to live it up. Look at this sketch. What do you think? The drawing looks too stiff. No? Really? Hmm. I don't know. It looks a little too stiff. Okay, what do I say? Yes. Thanks, I thought so too. It's all coming to me now. Inspiration has striketh. And... Voila! <sighs> that looks much better. Okay. Dinner is do done. I'm back. I'm scared to figure out what it is. Hoisin pork, of course, it's hoisin pork. What else could it be other than hoisin pork? Uh, okay, that's it. I can't handle this anymore.
Bruh, it's so easy. I'm, but I don't have hoisin por pork right now. And I would like hoisin pork. Um, there we go. You don't trust Ducky's cooking? No, the problem is I 100% trust Ducky's cooking. And she is an amazing cook. And that's what pisses me off because she always, she always comes around with her delicious pictures uh, or uh, delicious food. She takes pictures of them and then she sends it to all of us. And I, all I do is get hungry every time I look at our food. It just looks so good. I am currently trying to get something to eat. I'm so hungry. I'm actually hungry right now. Ooh, wait, I kind of want milk tea. Hmm. How do we feel about that? How do we feel about some milk tea today? Tea bar. Hmm. Where is this? The fuck? Oh, apparently this place sucks, so we're not going there. It's a little spicy. That sounds always so good. That sounds so good. Wait, hold on. I was like, what? What the hell? There we go. I was like, I don't recognize any of these places. And I realized, oh, I have the wrong address here. Oh, man, my favorite place is closed. No. Mm, let's see. Ooh, okay. Ramen? Maybe. Maybe. I'm kind of grooving to this music, though. Hello? This kind of slaps, not gonna lie. I'll also spare the photo since I've shown it before. You have shown it before? Well, thank you for sparing us. Rice and bread, okay. No, I don't want, want that. Just rice and bread. This is terrible. Mm. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just trying to eat because I'm hungry. I have not eaten dinner. I ate kind of like something small before I started streaming, but fuck am I hungry now. Especially since freaking Ducky came, came along. Did everyone eat dinner, by the way? Did you guys eat dinner today? You better have eaten by now. It's 9 o'clock here. I can't imagine what time it is where everyone else is. I mean, I can imagine since I know where most of you guys live in terms of like time zone you know I did not oh no we had homemade poutine oh so uh Brie made some poutine tonight is it because there were he was, he was looking at the freaking guy eating poutine on the, the uh the trophy that's actually pretty funny Hold on. Let me let me move. Let me move to Zatsu for one second. Hold on. One sec. Just a break. Literally, yes. Wow. I cannot believe people are uh uh so influenced by memes. They're just like a meme shows me food. Ah, oh, it must have it now. <laughs> that man was visibly into hockey I don't know I think he was uh, he won the hockey he won the actual like cup like the guy won the cup and he was he was very much into Canada 
photos on the internet do that to me too all the time. I'm surprised though. It's not like a meme. Like like most memes, I'm like, haha, that's funny, and then I like move on. I don't go, haha, that's hungry. What? And then I go and make poutine. Mm, let me see. Ooh, this is actually close to where I work. That's kind of far away though. Bree does haha -ha, that's hungry with everyone. <laughs> Memes get me honestly, all food pics. With everything I see. Add adds to. Ellie is EP, so I'm gonna go to sleep now. Okay. Good night, Ellie. Here's a head pat. Pat 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 pat. <laughs> get to bed. Get some good rest, okay? And have a great day tomorrow. Mm, what should I have? Oh my god. What? Is everything's so expensive. Coffee milk tea? Maybe. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh my goodness. What about here? Are you guys less expensive? You guys are. Ooh. Bullduck? Huh. Mandu? Okay. No, Pajon? Oh, I want Pajon. Okay. Wait, but it's 12 bucks? Oh my god. Ooh, why is it so expensive? I literally can't if I know I'm feeling snacky or foodie, but not actually hungry. Why do you... Oh, like food videos? Okay, I see. Hello, jin -san. I've got something... I've got to do something funny last night. Oh, yeah? And hi. Hi, Kiriko. Um, sure. Four pieces of um, mandu. Uh, I, I am feeling... You know what? No, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. That's kind of expensive. Ten bucks. <sighs> okay. Okay, I can get bibimbap. Um, bibimbap or what else do you have? Oh, they have kimchi jjigae. Uh, or sundubu. Uh, okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. We want something with more substance, huh? We want something with more substance. Not just like soups, right? Um, oh, Yangnam chicken. That sounds good, too. Uh, bulgogi, that's a little too heavy, I think. Gabi is too heavy. Oh. Yachamen? Oh, maybe. Oh, do they have japje? <gasps> they do have japje. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Kimchi Jigae, how can you say no to that? I just said no to it. <laughs> I'll say it or I'll 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 eat it. I'll swear. Hopefully. <laughs> Eventually. Um uh, the Korean suits are amazing. Oh no, don't say that. Everything was super spicy despite some entrees saying they were mild, not great. Aw, poor little, little pussy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Did, it, did that come out? My bad. Ugh, I'm yawning so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, like, I'm being boring right now. Lesson five? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just get bibimbap. Uh, no, no. Just let's just go and get um, japchae. We'll get japchae and call it a day. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, do, do they have any drinks? Anything like strawberry milkis? That's fine. It's two bucks. I'm cool with that. It's like three, but it's okay. Um, tip, let's go with that. Um, okay. Uh, 
Okay. PayPal. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't have a lot of time. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. Pay. Pay, 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 pay. Let's go. Actually, kind of under 30 bucks. Like, close to under 30 bucks. So it was like 31 something. So I've got Mandu, and I got Japje, and I've got Strawberry Milkis. I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god, it's so far. Wait. Hold on. I had no idea it was that far. They kind of like, okay, that, that kind of sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dude. Do you know it's spicy today? Um, listen, it's not my fault that people are like, oh, this told me it was mild and it was super, super, super spicy and I couldn't eat it. It's just like, oh, guys, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Call it. What <laughs> day? <laughs> What is wrong with you? No, you're gonna be out here and I'm just gonna go ahead and shame you. Everybody look. Look at that message right now. <laughs> I know that feels sounded of better in my head. It did. <laughs> I just um I met this guy last night, one of the chats I'm watching on the stream by someone. He said he's gonna buy me buy me a dinner. So I said buy me a chicken nugget and he said there are no chicken nuggets left what a cheapskate what the fuck tell him buy you chicken nuggets or else you're never coming back be like i ain't no cheap girl all right i'm not just fries i am nuggies too <laughs> um <laughs> happens to the best of us i do that shit all the time really i deserve it a public story just four days before Shami's debut, she gets a public stoning in QVG and stream. Okay, 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 okay. I'm worth the whole combo. Yeah, I ain't just doing like half a combo. I will take individual items, okay? Canceled before I even start. I know. That's so soon. I know. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Is wild shit. Is a wild, actual wild shit. Ah, <sighs> man. Tuesday. I'll buy you a large. Hell yeah. All right, we're getting out of here, right? We talked to this lady. It was enough. I'm gonna guess all of them will say classic white mailbox. Oh, you know what? Before we go and do this, I kind of want to go back to that guy's house. Hopefully I remember where it is, though. This cat keeps reappearing. Oh, no. JK. He's real. It's because it's real. <laughs> I'm fucked up. But said he gave me rats. I told him to give, give me all the rest. I'm going to turn to rag. No dude, what the f What is going on, dude? <laughs> what is going on? I should finally do a test stream either like tomorrow or around Sunday, depending on when my brain allows me. Okay, okay. Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, so I don't think it's this house, is it? It might not be. Yeah, because there was like a door here or something. I think it's another. It's a yeah, that one's the the yoga room. My scenes are garbo, but met. Oh my god, my scenes are garbo too. Especially since I have to like move my scenes from one computer to another. It's kind of frustrating. Sorry, my bad. I was reading chat. Cal, have you not just read chat on accident? Just like Wait, this is a this is a different looking house. Look at the mailboxes. 
Oh, all of them look look like that, JK. Okay, this is where the old lady left, right? I've not done much in regards to making them. Oh, okay. Full of wrappers, some soda cans. Why can't we take some of those and just, um, Oh, what are these? 20 years ago. Okay, so it must be their... Maybe their child's? It's getting lost. Okay. Okay, this is the the youngest um, daughter. He, she's like, oh, my youngest daughter thinks of me like this. It's this room here. Okay. Smells like rotten food. Can we grab these cans? Nice, we can. Okay, so it's the ones with um, the ones with flies. The ones with flies we can actually get. Shadow, welcome raiders. Hello. Let's move on. Oh, let's move to um, really quick. Hello, Raiders. How are you? Hello, Shadow fans. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Shadow, first off. Um, can I have a shout out to Shadow while he's here? Um, welcome to Raider. Welcome, Raiders. If you're not familiar with who I am, then my name is QB June. I am a V um a, I was gonna say a V V B tuber. No, that's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> Uh, a virtual BTuber. That's what I wanted to say. A virtual BTuber. I'm a variety streamer, so I play a plethora of games, um, including the one I'm playing today, which is Amori. Oh my god, I totally forgot to change my um, category again. One second. Hold on. I Thank you for the reminder. There we go. <laughs> and on top of that, I also um, craft and watch a bunch of, like, um, a true crime stuff with my, with my, uh, community, the Beelings, which you see in chat right here. So, um, welcome Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Just chatting and Phasmo. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, it's cause you miss, <laughs> you miss. Okay. See, see, see. The auto shout out auto message from, uh, from stream elements. Um, the exclamation points is being added to the hyperlink. Oh, uh, is there a way for, okay, okay, that's right, I can, I can, um, what do you call it, change that, I have to change that later, gets her every time, every time, uh, yeah, CNC, I have not done CNC in a while, CNC usually is on Wednesdays, but I've been using it for Amori instead, lately, I really need to do some CNC, and then, um, actually, I have to talk to Shami about this later, but I was wondering, do you want to do uh, collabs on Tuesday um, for um, Japanese learning session? I'm thinking of skipping next week because you will be um, you will be streaming. So I'll be promoting that for the day uh, instead of streaming at all. So I want to I want to be able to promote you. Um, but from then on, I'm up for doing um, Japanese sessions together if you want to do that. Only if you want to, honestly. Uh, <laughs> silence I'm in shambles oh no not an ad get it get it get it fucking ad blocker ad blocker get it yeah I'm interested we can chat about it okay good 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 to know wait no this is Anna Alouette's fucking thing don't do that there we go okay um yeah, I'll, I'll definitely change it for an unstream elements, um, Nezu. So, thank you, though. Uh, but, yeah, how was your Phasmophobia stream? I'm going to guess that you played with Eerie, because I, I think I saw Eerie also playing Phasmophobia. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw you guys both play Phasmo, or actually Eerie play Phasmo. Um, how was she? Did she scream a lot? <laughs> Can I have a shout out to Eerie while we're at it? Um, Eerie and I mean uh, honestly a bunch of us we were in chat if you were not in chat already with us <laughs> we were in chat in discord just shooting the shit 
and we were having such a fun time, honestly. Can't scream if you're not in the house. Oh my god, are you telling me that Eerie always just takes the coward way out? Oh, Jesus. Come on, Eerie, come on. Not a truck dweller. I know, not a truck dweller. Oh, you're, you're supposed to you're supposed to swap those. You're supposed to swap back and forth. Ugh. I remember, okay, there's there is a friend of Shammy and mine who I thought had more, you know, bazongas, but he was like, um, you know, I, I think I'm just a uh I think I like just uh staying in the truck. And I'm like, um, you're scared. So you're telling me you're scared to go in. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not scared. Uh, I just think I like staying in the truck. I, I don't. I think I don't like um, roaming around in the house. And I'm like, so you're scared. And he's like, no, that's not it. I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> um, that's like watching the computer in Lethal Company, but less effective. Yeah, I know because at least in Lethal Company you have the teleporter, so you can teleport people out. Like Crep, he literally teleported. Ducky before she died that one time we played Lethal Company in front of my eyes. Though to be honest, crap you motherfucker, you did not teleport me afterwards. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um But yeah, so um yeah, so thank you, thank you for the raid though. Thank you for the raid, Shadow. I appreciate you. Um we we should play some more Lethal Company soon, or we should play some Phasma or something. Or you can tell people when there's there is scrap or enemies yes 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 okay so let's get back to amori shall we back to amori thank you and welcome to raiders who have come in okay thanks okay all right so we grabbed our trash so we could go back we're going to go back to the park. Um, we can probably go back to the park, turn that in, and then go back there um, to the... Uh, we're going to go to the bottom left. I'm going to guess that's where the church is. Uh, I'm going to stop to uh, watching my tablet while laying, but absolutely. I know you're eepy, as you said. You said you're very eepy. Mm, it's this way, yeah. Ducky and I want to play more Lethal Company sometime. Yeah, I, I do too. I'm going to play more. Like, so much of it is um, just time, honestly. It's just so... It's so much about time. Um, because, obviously, I have some days just locked down for stream and stuff. And then other days, I'm either traveling, I'm working, I'm, you know, doing so many, so many other things. Oh, thank you for the three stream streak, kitty. He said, hell yeah, and said that we got to make a nugget full, a restaurant full of nuggets, but not ordinary chicken nuggets. It's rat nuggets. So people never know it's rat nuggets. You, you guys are very interesting. Let's just say that. You guys are very interesting. <laughs> okay, 10, 11. Got it. 10, 11. That's almost like an hour, which should be enough. Oh, um, is it here? Ooh, here's more trash. Cool. Anyone gonna actually answer? This is like an abandoned house. Ooh, is this window open? No, I don't think so. This storyline is crazy. <laughs> rat nuggets. No one told me it was rat. I just might. I mean, the thing is, is that like, I think rat would be stringy. Would it not be? Because they have kind of sinewy like muscles. They don't have like plump muscles like that. At least that I know of. Rat nuggets sound kind of peak. That's it. Congrats. There you go. Nezu's first time in the quote book. Very nice. Okay. 
<laughs> Nessu's right? Teeth issue? You guys are fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Rat nuggets sound kind of peak. There are two rats already? Who the f- Is this Shammy? Shammy, Nezu, and Wump? You guys really are rats. You guys, you guys are gonna be rat nuggets. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. That's crazy. If you decide to trap a church, that's pretty crazy. That or genius? Because, I mean, imagine, like, you'd get a lot of devout people if, you know, they decided, oh, I'm going to turn to the church right during, like, I don't know, a zombie apocalypse or something. And then suddenly, bam, you're being raided and, like, robbed. That'd be crazy. Hmm, that's normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there, all normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. You should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Um, okay. What's this? Aubrey's old blue bike. Wait. What's this say? Far away cemetery. Hmm. Can we just wait over here? I stay ratting. If you hear a squeak from the walls, um... What do you want me to do? We have to wait, right? Okay. Such a religious figure. You feel as it as if it's judging you. Okay. Um if you don't like rat nuggets then let's make it more even delicious. Make it even. Delicious. What about squirrel nuggets? I heard squirrel nuggets might actually, um, might not be bad because like the leg meat is, um, is more plump. And it also, I think it depends on when you decide to get them. Do you want to go into the church? No, we're waiting, right? Do, do we just literally just wait here S squirrels are extra mobile rats <sighs> do we literally just wait we could go in do we go in or do we just like wait here for a second for a while for the sermon to be over like, how do you know when you're supposed to wait? Oh, let me check my food. Hold on. Okay, they're they're on their way there. Okay. Meat. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I was talking with someone on Discord really quickly. Alright, let's go in. Sure. Because I don't think we can progress without it. Whoa, I didn't expect you to walk in like, just walk in like that, Junie. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. There she is. There she is on the right. Let's box the pew behind her. Sure. Are we not? Can we not? There. Okay. Aubrey. Aubrey. What the? What the heck? 
are you guys doing here? Open, join stream, opens, redeems, degrading Jake. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Can I have a shout out for Jake, please? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now that's none of my business? Yeah, Kel. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. Heh. <laughs> really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares about what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? Get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. Is this what this is about? When? Oh no, not that. Nah. Nah, you can miss me with that. <laughs> when Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been so simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? Do you, you know how important his photo album is to him. It's important to all of us. Doesn't mean can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. You and Junie think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do. Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey. But you're still the same person. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No. I won't accept this. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief. Thing. Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? And I'm the big bad bully, here to terrorize poor, defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want to be a bully, if you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. She did not seem very, uh, happy, huh? She's not in a very happy mood, huh? Let's, um, let's encourage... Yeah, let's encourage Amori. Ow. Okay. We're good, we're good. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Oh, they're like 
now they're like all um like judging Aubrey. Oh, nice whiff. Why are you here? I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. <gasps> oh shit! Ow! What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Okay. Oh, ow. Okay. We might go down here. Run? We can't. Okay. Toy? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it because he's, um, he's dead. Okay. I might, I might go down and then we'll restart. Hold on. Ooh, whiff? Why? Why now? I saw she would be trouble. The pastor should have cooked her out a long time ago. Um, how's her health? I can probably do two. Hold on. Jesus! She hits so hard, actually. Um, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it again. 46. Yeah. Hmm. Serves you right, Cal. Now. Leave me alone. Ooh. Is this a game over or is this part of it? Oh, this is part of it. Oh, I just wasted two items. That's okay. Ah, uh, ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. See, adults are fucking fucked up, too. Like... They're so fucked up, too. Honestly. Oh, we weren't meant to um, finish that one, huh? Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. What do you have to say? I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you. Where are your manners off brawling about like that? We did just brawl in a church. Let's just be honest. You should be ashamed. It's about time that girl ran off. Now maybe all my friends will come back to church again. Your friends, she didn't even do anything. She was here just praying and you're just like, oh my God. I just wanted to spend my day off in peace. That's kind of a little bit more realistic. Our family comes to church once a week. Sometimes twice. Sometimes thrice. What the fuck? That's weird. Alright. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon. But that seemed really important. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years. But she never talks to anyone. I tried to approach her a few times. But she keeps calling me, uh, bad things. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. This is the only adult that's good here. All these motherfuckers, you're all fake. Every single one of you motherfuckers are fake. You're fake and you're fake. The father here, father here, this this man is the only right like person who is an actual adult. All of you guys are fake adults. Goodbye. You guys suck. <laughs> My god, who like ends up bu literally bullying a little girl? She's literally like I don't know, 12? Like, she's clearly ha has issues, you know? Jesus. Lumpkin's praying? Yeah. Truly, they really need to. They really need to pray more. True, true. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Actual, though. Fuck, fuck all of them. They all suck. This is the reason why children suck. Like, like they become not very good children. Is because of this. I don't even know where Aubrey lives. I'm not gonna lie. No response. There's no response. Okay. That was probably the most insightful um, cutscene that we've had so far, though. So we know in... 
in this world, um, oh, this is where she lives. Oh no, I thought this house was abandoned. It was so bad. Oh, is she throwing the photo album away? Yeah. Sorry if you hear the squeaking of my headset. Yeah, my headset squeaks like a hinge. Let's go and check it out. Photos, either that or like a diary. Something paper-based, it sounded like. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a, uh, how about a high five, Juni? Do you want a high five, Kel? Yeah. <laughs> Give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Yeah, I mean, I do think Kel is definitely um, glossing over what the photo album means to them because I think obviously um, um, Aubrey, she sees it as her past still or their past um, and she wants to sort of keep those memories safe maybe like because she has maybe she was close to Mari, right? Um, and she's not ready to move on, but with this whole scenario happening now, she's like, I fuck this. Like, I don't, I don't, I no longer want to be with the, the rest of the people there. They mean nothing to me, even if I have to like throw away, um, throw away, um, Mari as well on top of it. She, she literally like, like before I think she still, um, cared about them but after that whole incident she no longer is like into it anymore it's a realistic depiction of grief yeah I think so too like there's she's definitely in like in a situation where she can't handle all of that grief within her and she doesn't know how to handle it as a young kid and when you don't have the support of adults and stuff then it doesn't help either um, and maybe you don't want to bring other people like, like she, like, you know, the, the preacher was like, oh, I try to approach her to see what she was, what was going on with her. But she made me go away by calling me all types of like bad, bad names and stuff. Very obviously a very like, it's a defense mechanism, right? So like she's, she is she thought maybe she does not see a solution happening with anybody outside of this scenario maybe she wants she had wanted Kel and um the main character or juni in the scenario and basil to come to her and talk to her about it but they never did and so she was like well these bitches are fake like they didn't help me they didn't they don't want to talk about it they're moving on as if like mari was nothing you know, so I, I can see um, in kids, especially like that kind of resentment for sure. Knock, knock. Basil, it's your friends, Cal and Junie. Oh. Oh, hello there. Who are you? I'm Basil. Oh, hi, Basil. Oh, wait, you're not Basil. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Cal. W what is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Huh? Y you did? Wow, thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Junie, free dinner! Alright, free dinner. Let's go!
please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there are some that are still alive from when you guys came over more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we've got your photo album back, we can all go through the photos together. Uh, that's... uh... I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um... Sh sure. Okay. Probably the dinner is rat nuggets? Yuck. Here it is. My first photo. It's my best friend, Juni, trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Mari. So exciting. Just Cal being Cal. So many party hats. Junie playing a video game on the couch. Junie is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Uh, when was this? Okay, so his um, his birthday is on February the 18th, which means he's an Aquarius, like me. We're back from the park, but Cal's still full of energy. He challenged Hero to a- oh, Hero is Basil's brother then, here. He challenged Hero to a arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Oof, sorry, Cal. Better luck next time. Cal was still feeling a little sour after losing to Hero in an arm wrestling match last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Cal looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Oh, never mind, JK. Cal is Hero's brother, actually. Me showing Junie a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Junie's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Junie and Cal holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. Hero's still making his flower crown. He's, it's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. This was Aubrey before she dyed her hair. Hmm. Aubrey won't let Cal under the umbrella, but Cal seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Cal being Cal again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Cal to leave his jacket outside since Cal was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made it time together and got go to the park today. Where Cal's hanging off his legs off a tree. Here's Cal link hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Cal cooling off with some refreshing orange joe. I shouldn't get too close, or he might get my camera wet. Cal is known to spill his drinks. We buried Junie in the sand. It took forever, but it looks like he's enjoying himself. Megane? Uh, sure. Give me one second. 
I'm going to disappear for a second. <laughs> Let's do this color. There we are. Oh, why did it just disappear? There we go. Okay. Whew. Back to it. There we are. Thank you for the redeem, kitty girl. I have a feeling we're gonna be jump scared by a Mari picture that'll be blacked out. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I wonder if I'll- I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay! Juni is turning 12 today. Even though me, Juni, Aubrey, and Cal are all in the same school year, Juni is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Juni holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Juni a giant building block set. Juni seems more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Meow. Meow? Meow? <laughs> Juni won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Juni and Meow's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Cal, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Juni is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. Ooh, this one I know. So he remembers a few photos here and there. Because if you remember from the other, in the other world, uh, some of these photos were actually in Basil's photo album. But some of them are missing. Like some others, like let's say the uh, pictures of Aubrey, um, like unaltered it without her like pink hair those weren't in there either I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident but I don't believe him it's the first day of school today me, June, Junie, Kel and Aubrey are all up are up bright and early Aubrey is so photogenic <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Oh, that's it. So there's no pictures of... There are missing pictures. <gasps> oh! See how there are missing pictures? I think these are pictures of Mari. I think Aubrey took all the pictures of Mari. <laughs> well, jump scare was inside of us all along, isn't it all? It always is, the jump scare. Aubrey jump scare would be like FNAF jump scare. Yeah, it'll come late. It'll come late. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We've got to get, we have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know, I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. Can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Judy will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. We'll try. Mmm, I see. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure. I'll help. I've got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Yeah, I can see it. It's literally the other half of the screen. 
Okay, so from here, I want to talk about what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm thinking that in the beginning, before we start going around with Cal, I remember that Amori was like, Cal is really annoying, like annoying person, right? He was like, oh, this annoying person is around. He's so positive. And at first you're like, he's such a positive person. Like, why would you kind of like run away from him? He seems like a really nice person, right? But now that we know that Mari died and it seems that everyone is still kind of like not over it. Like, note what Cal had said to Basil. Cal said, you know, you get better so you can be your happy, happy, you know, go lucky self, just like how you were in the past. And it's just like, Basil's like, but I don't want to be like, I don't want to reject the fact that I'm sad. And it feels like Cal is rejecting his sadness. It's like kind of like minimizing somebody else's feelings because you don't want to see it yourself or you're past it. Right. And in a way that kind of makes Kel not a very good person because he's essentially not listening. He's essentially not listening to his friends being hurt. And uh, especially in a position of grief, like listening to somebody be vulnerable and say like, I'm not ready. I'm not the same person that I was when I, I cannot be the same person that I was when this person before this person had passed is like not being a good person. IMO because you're like, you want the, this person to be happy. Yes. But you should not be happy by rejecting the fact that you're sad. Right. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is happening here. That's my kind of opinion from what I'm seeing, just based upon what um, the few interactions that are happening here um and i think that was also kind of aubrey actually said it very very well because she's like you literally left me alone when i was feeling this way toxic positivity yes that's exactly it cal is is like very much toxic positivity where he's like oh don't feel that way just be happy just be happy and it's just like okay well but I'm not happy. I'm like depressed and I'm really sad and it really hurts me right now. Like, are you not going to listen? They're like, well, I don't want to listen. I want to listen to you when you're only happy. And if that's the case, they're not really a friend of yours because they're not willing to kind of listen and support you in your hard time. So anyway, uh, or you're, you only serve them um, as long as you were that that role, right? Like, oh, you're not yourself. You're not yourself right now. Like, you're always supposed to be positive and happy and like this amazingly positive person. It's just like, but something really bad is happening to me right now. Like, somebody died right now. I cannot be happy. Telling me that like I'm not myself who I was, like who I was before, um, just because like something bad is happening, it's just not not okay to do that to your friends um, and your loved ones in general. Um, it's, it is it is not considered support. If your friends are toxic, friends are toxic, don't be friends. Well, you can say that, right? It is very easy to say, well, just don't have toxic friends. But toxicity comes in many different forms. And sometimes if you're not very well-versed in being able to recognize it, then it's very difficult. It's easy to fall into these pits where you didn't even know that they were a toxic person. Now you're in this situation with a toxic person and you don't know how to put your boundaries down. You don't know how to put your foot down and stuff like that. Grief also makes people act unpredictably. Yes. Or your friends are bullying and you don't... If your friends are bullying, you don't have to be friends with them. Yeah, I mean, that's... There's so many nuances to it right you can say yeah my friends are bullying other people but like they're my only friends and like I don't feel I feel scared to let go of 
the group that I'm in right now because then I have to go to another group and I'm socially anxious or I'm afraid of being like having to go to another group. What if they don't like me as much? What if I don't like myself as much? Because I think at the end of the day, things like that is actually just a self-reflection. Like, give me one second. I think my food's here. One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to go into psychology and like, like social, uh, like social stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, the concept at the end of the day is when you get older and you understand that um, you've been in those situations or you're able to listen to other people who have been in those situations, it is very hard, I think. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, it is, uh, sorry, it is easy to quickly make a judgment, right? Um, but I think it is much harder to um, kind of put yourself in that person's shoes and say, okay, I understand what they're going through and how difficult it can be. Does it make it right? Absolutely not. You can absolutely say, no, they're doing the, in the incorrect thing here. But at the same time, you can also say it is a challenge for them to be able to take a big step like that in in the environment of grief specifically so yeah like some people who are in bullying they fall into the wrong crowd like Aubrey in this situation that's just projecting that is literally just projecting or trying to fill in a gap in their heart that is you know missing um, that's what makes a good friend, in my opinion. You recognize where they're acting wrong, but also give them room to feel their feelings. Yeah, like being like, hey, listen, I know why you're feeling the way you do, and I don't blame you because in your situation, it's easy to feel this way. However, like, I challenge you to do it this way because it would be healthier for you and healthier for me because I don't want you to hurt in the long run. So it, it's hard, though. It is a challenge, and it's easy. It's It's easier to be like, it is a challenge I'm willing to support you on every step of the way because it's better for you in the long run. So anyway, sorry. I just went on a tangent. Holy shit. Okay. I just, I've been with a lot of people. And because when you blame other people and you say, oh, like, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? When they're in the middle of grief, the problem with that is that they start blaming themselves and thinking they're a bad person. And then you have another, another issue. Your next issue is, oh no, this person has massive issues with their self, self, um, self image. And they always think what they're going to do is wrong. So now you have them doubting themselves, not one, you know, wondering whether or not they're doing the right thing. Sorry, I'm like grabbing my milk, guys. That's why. Good. Mm. I kind of milk. I kind of milk. I kind of missed it. Milk, us. I haven't had it in a while. Tonight for dinner, we're making chicken vegetable soup. 
How's that sound? Soup and veggies? Sounds nutritious and delicious. Y you really think so? I was afraid you'd be a bit disappointed. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry about what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Dinner will be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. You literally just came over here to tell us to help, and then now... <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, hi, Junie. Oh, I, I wonder if Basil feels um weird um, about things because uh, Mari was my sister. And it's possible that he sees... He, he sees Mari in me sometimes when you look at them, when, when they look at me. Maybe, possibly, especially Aubrey, right? If Aubrey, if Aubrey looks at me and Aubrey was really, really, um, wasn't Basil in the other room earlier? Hold on. Especially if Aubrey was really, really close to, um, to it. Personally, I think the tangent was worthwhile. This game is 100% about these kinds of things and it's refreshing to hear it discussed. Oh, you've already seen uh, or you've already seen this game be played. Sorry, Wumpkin. I'm going in blind. I must be like talking about things you already know. Sorry. What is this plant? It's very shiny. It looks like a bird. A white egret orchid. Well, an egret is similar to an or um a heron. My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Interesting. Oh. Sorry, Bumble. Here, sorry. He wanted to come in. Come here. Oh, Junie. I didn't expect you to see you to see you in here. Haha. <laughs> How are you doing, Junie? Is everything okay with you? Okay. Never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know? She hasn't been feeling very well lately. Again, no apology necessary. You're doing a great job at presenting this. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm just trying my best to kind of look at patterns and um, understand the story the best I can. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since those pic pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but... I think, at the time, I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can see, still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Junie! Basil! Dinner's ready! What's wrong? Hmm. Okay, coming. Right. You wanna go? Go. Come on. Come on. Go, go. Come on. Come on. Go if you wanna go. I think he smells my food and he wants his own food. <laughs> He's like, I want your food. Grandma is breathing steadily. Okay. Let's check out the other rooms before we head into the kitchen. Alright, here's the... Oh, actually, what is that book? 
a book on plants. Okay. Um, what is this? Basil's camera. It looks really dusty. I see. Um, I think where Basil is in comparison, uh, I think Basil is in the... I just remembered he's kind of stuck in time in a way. IMO. Because he's like, oh, I wish things could go back to what the way that they, they were before. Oh, I wish things could go back. Um, he's not particularly ignoring everything or expecting everyone else to just ignore it like Cal is. He's kind of just living um, constantly in the past to a point where he's not moving forward as a result. Um, because remember, one of the phrases he told Junie here was, I wish things could go back. I wish things could be how it was. Eventually, eventually it will. I'm going to cling on to this album because it was the best things. You know, there were things I was afraid of, afraid to lose um, without thinking, hey, I can pick up my camera and still take pictures of things that I'm afraid of losing and continue um, putting things in the album, um, finding things that are more important to me now, um, like they are, they were back then. So we're going to eat Polly and Cal's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Yeah. Let's eat some dinner. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Cal. Yum, 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 yum. So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my older brother, Hero, is finally coming back from college. Oh, Hero's coming back then. My mom's all crazy right now, pre uh, preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. Year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> you and my brother seem close. That's good. Family is important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo in there, Junie? I... I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Junie's moving away and all. What? Junie's moving? Oh yeah. Thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh. No, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry. Um. May I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Bathroom is here. gonna be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, did you see that? It was like a spider, like, um, the fear that, uh, that Junie gets. Oh, it's you. Junie, you're here. I'm so glad. You, you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you. Find me? Me? Junie, wh why? Why do you look so scared? Junie, everything is okay now, isn't it? 
Why, why do you look so scared? Behind me? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Oh. Ginny, uh, everything is okay now, isn't it? Okay, so the thing behind me... If I look at it enough, maybe I won't get scared of it. I'm not. Wait. Please, Juni. Don't leave me. Not again. Oh! He left him anyway! That's fucked. Go back. I can't. I'm shaking my head. What do you mean? You're gonna go back. You're going back, you fucking little child. Go. Go in! Oh my god. Alright, fine. You can say hi to grandma and then you're going back in. Hi, grandma. Your grandson is having a panic attack. I'm going to go and help him. I'm such a piece of shit. What? Are you trying to break in here? Oh my god. My dog is trying to break in my room. No cooperation. I know, right? Oh, hey, Jenny. I think it's about time you went home. I'm way past my curfew. So, yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Cal. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Say, bye to, say goodbye to Basil for me. We're going back. You don't have to... We're saying goodbye to him right now. Basil! Oh, Basil. Oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Go! Alright, well. Well, I'm a piece of shit. I hope I get run over by a car. No. Why? Oh. Well, this is what we meant. Remember Aubrey was like, oh, like you guys didn't help me at all and stuff. Like you guys left me. Um. Well, yeah, literally Junie just left her. So, oh, this is the wrong house. I think this is Cal's house. Cal, we don't, you don't want to go back home, Cal? Okay. Is this not his house? Maybe I'm the wrong wrong block. We have to keep going. No, this is his church. Do you see all the cats on top of the church? What the fuck? That's weird. Alright. We're gonna try to find our place again. I swear to god it was down this... It was down this um particular block but I guess I'm wrong oh that no 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 this one's Aubrey Aubrey's house so we might be down maybe down this way maybe down this way I think we're on the other side of the street yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this looks correct okay and this is Kel's place right oh you're just gonna walk me back home first. Got it. Let's go ahead and give a save. Alright. Ooh. You see Aubrey's old picture? It's her old her. Right? Hey Junie. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while. But that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, here is coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Junie. Sweet dreams.
back in my dark and fucked up house. Oh my god, there are roaches everywhere? What the fuck? This is not my house. Whispers emanate from inside the box. Oh my god, what is happening here? Bro, that is a black widow. You gotta go, man. This place sucks. Oh, there is a fear eye. Transpire web. Guess we go this way? What the fuck? Dude. Can I just say you've got massive problems? You really need to. Has it always been this way? Hey. Ew. Do you hear the squishing noises? Cute spiders. Mizu. Mizu, quit it. These are not cute spiders. Hey, bud. There was a... I want to get to that door. But I can't. Okay. At least maybe not right now I can't. But maybe later. A door... A door arachnids? Mm -mm. Not here. Oh, yuck. Stop. Stop. It. Oh, we're playing Limbo now? Jesus Christ. You can do it, Junie. You can climb the three steps. You got this. You got it. You got it. Oh, there's this, like, fear node. Maybe it's, like, a node. Conquer it. Oh, there it goes. Oh. It became Mari. Just don't fall down the stairs. Oh, what is that? Oh, God. It fell on me instead. Instead of me falling down the stairs, it fell on me. Oh, jeez. Huh. Uh. Last time, we calmed down, right? We calmed down. Okay. Something entangles him. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna calm down again. It's last time we had learned to calm down before when we were on the stairs. Something is trying to talk to you. We're gonna calm down, we're gonna chill. This is going nowhere fast, huh, Jenny? We're fine. We can heal that right back up. Ow. So remember, we heal 40. That's half our HP. Unless it starts to build kind of exponentially. 
It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. Clear your mind and remember how to focus. Okay. So we should have a new focus, right? Okay. We learned to focus. Okay, so we're in our house again. Can we go back to... There was a door that we were missing, right? Three dishes... Yeah, we're still packing because we have to remember we are moving soon, so... His mom does exist. This is a note from mommy. If you leave the house, remember to look both ways before crossing the street. Mm. Mm. And it seems like his mom isn't really, like, acknowledging it either. What is this? What room is this? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, what did I step on? Um, I didn't see. I saw it was, like, a black spot, but... Ah. Fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the fear node that shows up. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Oops. Okay. And then from here, I'm a, I think I'm going to end. So thank you guys for watching me today. Hopefully you enjoyed um, some... Some Amori. Let me go back to my screen here. There we go. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed um, Amori today. Um, it was really fun um, to play today. Um, hopefully you guys got to... Okay, hopefully you guys got to um, kind of understand the story a little bit more. I certainly did. It was very interesting. Um, it's starting to ramp up a bit, actually, <laughs> and I'm starting to enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, there's so many nuances on grief and death and emotions and how to deal with that in this game, um, which is really, really, really good. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has had um, to deal with grief uh, very... Mm, <laughs> A very 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 much in their life uh, personally uh, personally I have not however I have been around people who have been um, grieving heavily uh, and as a result I kind of understand kind of understand um, how that kind of works for them and stuff and uh, and how that affects them and healthy ways to take care of that and stuff so um, I'm glad that Amori kind of um, is a game that is addressing those type of concepts. It's very, it's very, it's very good. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Perfect time. I was about to say goodnight. Yeah, I'm gonna be going to bed soon too. I do need to eat my food. I was thinking of watching like an episode of anime or something. <laughs> uh, eat my food and then probably go to bed I probably shouldn't eat and then sleep but we'll see um let's see who's who's streaming first before we get going hmm? who's streaming out there right now uh eerie streaming Genshin Jinx is um streaming Overwatch Oka's streaming um Pokemon just eat and stay up until three again oh my god Ducky. <laughs> um, Amanda is streaming Makers and Crafting. Um, Claude is streaming his sponsorship. Nice. Ebony. Um, let's do... What should we do? Hmm. We can do Amanda. We've actually never uh, streamed Amanda. We can we can go ahead and check, what, check out what Amanda's up to. Amanda is doing, um, like I said... Uh, makers and crafting so please check her out uh, here is your raid message as well for when we go and raid into her um, into her channel so um, and here's for the subs as well 
Okay. So thank you guys. Thank you guys again. Um, I will talk to you the next time I will be um, streaming will be uh, Friday. So I'll be streaming on Friday. We'll be doing MSQ with um, Mishami and Bree. We're going to be stepping into Endwalker. We're going to be stepping into Endwalker. Woo! <laughs> yeah. We're finally there. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, so we're going to be in tears more than likely. But uh, please check us out. Um, 7 p uh, 7 30 p.m cst on friday i'll see you then bye bye bees bye bye love you Mwah. bye bye